In this lesson, you'll take a look at a few features in Dreamweaver that can help you design your web pages. Specifically, you'll take a look at organizing your favorites panel for commonly used objects. You'll also learn how to design for specific monitor resolutions and add guides to your page to help with measurements and layout. Now to get started, I've opened the index.html page here in my Lesson 8 folder. And the first thing we'll look at is the favorites section of the insert panel. First, to open the insert panel, I'll go over to the right-hand side of the screen and click on it. This opens it now. If we click on the menu here, we can see there are a number of different sections, and each one of these sections shows us objects that we can add to our pages. However, there's a few different sections here, and each one contains many items. So if you want to create a custom section, you can do that using Favorites. So I'll choose this option here, and we can see by default it's empty. Now, in order to add objects, you can right-click or control-click on the Mac and choose Customize Favorites. Here we see all the available objects that we can add to our Favorites panel. So, for example, in the Common section, I'd like to add the Image object, so I'll choose Image and then move it over to Favorite. Then I'll click on the menu here and choose Layout. I'll scroll up, and let's add Draw AP Div. And just for the heck of it, let's add insert div tag as well. Now at any given point, you can remove objects that you've added to your favorite section by clicking the trash can, and you can also reorder them by pressing the arrows here. For now, however, we'll click OK. And now we can see we have our favorites located here in the insert panel. Now the next thing you'll take a look at is the ability to resize your document window in order to match common monitor resolutions. So right now, I'll take a look at my index.html page. In the lower right-hand corner, we can see this menu here. Now, in my particular case, I have a resolution set for 1035 by 494. Chances are yours will be different. What you can do, however, is resize the size of this window by clicking this menu here. Inside the menu, we can see commonly used resolutions. So, for example, we can see what it would look like for this window on an 800 by 600 monitor, and what it will do is resize that window to 760 by 420. We'll choose that now, and we can now see that the screen is 760 by 420. So simply put, this would help us understand what our page would look like on a user's monitor that has this resolution. Now let's take a look at guides. In order to access guides, we need rulers. To add rulers, we'll choose View, Rulers, Show. So what I'll do here is I'll place my cursor on the ruler and click and drag to the right, and this brings out a guide. You can see as I'm moving it around, it shows the pixel value here. And this is mapping to the ruler value above, obviously. Now I'm just going to put it anywhere on the screen because what I'd like to do is give it a specific value. To do this, I'll double click on the guide. I now get a move guide window and I can type in a value. In this case, I'll type in 38 and then press OK. And we can see the guide now moves to 38 pixels. I'll drag out another vertical guide, double click on that, and then type in the value 494 and then press OK. Now, in addition to showing you the guide's position when you hover over it, if you press and hold down the Command key on the Mac or the Control key on PC, you can then see a blue line. This blue line shows you the distance between your two guides. So in this case, the distance is 456 pixels. So this is a really great tool. This does many of your calculations for you. In other words, if you wanted to create a box between these two guides, it would need to be 456 pixels wide. Let's go ahead and add two more guides. This time we'll add horizontal ones. So drag one guide from that horizontal ruler and then double click it. And let's go ahead and put 152 here. And then click and drag one more time. Double click on the guide. And let's type in 380. Now again, just to show you what happens when you have more guides, I'll use my command or control click and we can see all of these numbers here, and these could be really useful whenever we're trying to put content within a certain section. So now you'll add one of the objects that you added to the insert panel, which was the draw AP div. Click on that, and then place your cursor here in the top left corner of this area defined by the guides. What I'll do is begin to click and drag down to the right, and what you'll see is that the AP div here will snap to those guides. Again, snapping to guides is extremely useful. This allows us to have precise measurements. 